Today, we'll be highlighting some of our summertime strategies to increase the longevity of your trail cameras, with the focus being on insect damage and extreme weather conditions. By utilizing these tips, you'll be sure to get the most out of every soak. So when thinking about longevity of your trail cameras and trying to really get the most out of the lifespan of them, you know, a lot of times we talk about different things we can do in the winter with harsh, harsh weather conditions and temperatures and so on to make your cameras last longer. But in all reality, taking care of them during the summer is, is almost just as important. Um, we're going to talk about a few different things uh, today in tips and tactics that we, that we use to really exp extend the longevity of your trail cameras. Um, and one of those is insect infestation and how to prevent it. So how to keep ants, spiders, other bugs out of your cameras. Um, it may seem like something kind of minute, but those little pesky critters can do so much damage to your cameras. And sometimes the damage might not be visible. Um, they, can, they can come in and eat seals, um, make nests, lay eggs. And a lot of times that stuff is inside the compartmental housing of the camera where you visibly can't see it, but they're gonna damage your boards or chew through wires or ribbon connectors and so on. So um, a couple things you could do there. Um, one of the things that we do the most and seems to be the most effective is the use of permethrin. Um, a lot of people use this on their clothes and their gear while they're in the field to keep ticks in such a way. Uh, but what we like to do is actually just spray our straps. So we'll, we'll soak our straps with this, a little bit on top of the tree and a little bit on the base of the tree. You don't want to get this on your skin and you don't want to get this on your camera housing. Um, this can be some really, really nasty stuff. So make sure that, uh, make sure you're not spraying it on your camera and make sure you're not getting it on your skin. So, so another product that we like to use to keep uh, insects and things out of our camera is ant killer granules. Um, this product is something that you would likely use around your house, you know, in your in your mulch or around your porch, patio, whatever. Um, but it's just just a repellent that comes in a granular form. And what we like to do is just take a couple fingerfuls and actually put right inside our housing. So we'll open that housing up, put a couple pinchfuls in close the camera up and you're good to go. The downside to using this product is every time you come in and check your card or check your camera, pull your card, you open that housing up, more than likely you're gonna forget that this is in there and it's gonna fall out and you'll have to redo the application. So um, sometimes it could be a pain using this because like I said, you're gonna have to reapply this every time you check your camera. So um, that's pretty much it for uh, keeping bugs out of your camera. The other, I guess the last tip would be to close off any penetrations you have in your camera. So the big craze these days with trail cameras is running video mode. Um, and rightfully so, there's so much more information you can gather from a video versus a photo. But the downside of that is if you're running audio with that video, there needs to be a penetration in the camera to allow the, audio, the camera to record the audio. So um, if you're not using video or if you are using video and audio is not that important, you just take a piece of tape and cover up any penetrations anywhere in the camera. So um, doing those three things, any of the three really, uh, will pay big dividends in keeping bugs out of your camera and making them last longer. So tip number two that we have for you today has to do with extreme temperatures and battery performance. Typically when most, uh, most guys running trail cameras think about extreme temperatures and batteries, it's usually during the winter months with sub-zero degree temperatures. But in all actuality, the same type of damage can occur uh, in summer months when you're experiencing temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, every type of battery, whether it's nickel metal hydride, alkalines, lithiums, they all have an operational temperature because of the chemical compound or chemical makeup uh, inside those batteries. Each type of battery also has a different type of resistance that is going to react a little bit different in those temperatures. So these extreme temperatures, um, if they exceed the operational temperatures of the battery, they can leak, they can explode, which is ultimately gonna cause corrosion on any kind of terminals um, on your battery tray or your camera, 
uh, and also can lead to damage of the actual camera on the board and some internal componentry. So our recommendation is Energizer Lithiums. They're rated up to 120 degree Fahrenheit. Most places in the continental United States, you're not going to experience those temperatures for a prolonged period of time. So it's really uh, Energizer Lithiums. Run them, forget about them, and you're good. So the last tip we have for you, again, uh, involves extreme weather and really flash floods specifically. Um, you know, creek banks and creek crossings like what we have behind us can offer some excellent opportunities for photos, but there's always potential risk uh, for your cameras to be flooded out during rain events. Um, so our recommendation is you can set your cameras on creek banks, creek crossings, flood plains, flood zones, but one, be familiar with the terrain and how the water levels are affected by rain events. Two, if you're going to have cameras here, watch weather patterns for pop-up thunder showers or flash flood warnings, anything like that. Um, those potential alerts could possibly save you a camera during a rain event.